Recently, my mom and I were cleaning out the upstairs of our house, and I found a, a yearbook from preschool in which our teacher compiled random pieces of our lives at that time, and it said there was a conversation between me and my friends of the time, and we were asking, uh, we were talking about God, and so I know that as a young kid, even in preschool, I believed in God. I continued my learning. I even walked into a Walgreens and saw a woman in hijab, and I approached her, and she asked if I needed help. I said, yeah, can you tell me where the nearest mosque is? And she just looked at me and, yeah, sure, yeah. And so eventually I made my way to the masjid, asked questions, learned more about Islam, and came to the realization, this is already who I am. I've already believed this for my entire life. I just didn't know what it was called, and I'd never seen it before. So eventually I made my way. After a few months of practicing, I stopped eating pork, things like that, minor practices. I told myself, it's time to accept Islam. And I, I accepted Islam, alhamdulillah, in 2008, right after. Initially, one of the challenges I faced was that you're coming from this lifestyle that's very different from the one that you've stepped in. You have a completely different mindset of what you want to do in life and where you're going. And I kind of use the expression, I saw myself living in a television show where this life wasn't really real. It wasn't you know, it wasn't something tangible. It wasn't something with, with good substance. And now I'm stepped out of that TV show watching, you know, old friends live that life. And initially when I became Muslim, part of me wanted that life still, but I knew what was right. And after meeting Muslims, developing close friendships, I was brought back to Islam. And I told myself, that's not the life that I want to live. I can't believe I wanted to live that life. And so my mindset started to change. And it's important to note that when people accept Islam, Sometimes they don't accept it with that 100%. I'm ready to drop everything that I've done in my life and completely change my ways. What they come in there is they come in there with a belief, a belief that there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. And it has to build from there. Some other difficulties I faced, alhamdulillah, I was blessed with just a wonderful family. And when I told my parents, they just looked at me and said, cool, great, you're Muslim, alhamdulillah. I didn't say alhamdulillah, <laughs> but I became Muslim and there was very little opposition or discomfort with my family. In fact, today my mom will even tell me, she knows I only eat halal meat. So she'll say, don't eat that in the refrigerator. That's, that's got chicken in it. You know, it's not, it's not halal. And she'll go through and tell me. Even with my friends, uh, that was actually not even that much of a struggle with me as well, because I sort of adapted to my friends and they adapted to my lifestyle. And it's actually, if you, if you really live as a Muslim and you're not afraid to be Muslim and hide it, your friends will actually, I found that they, they migrate towards you. I actually have friends that, Allahu Alam, I don't know what they believe, they don't follow a religion, but when I pray, I was praying a couple weeks ago at my friend's house and someone came down the stairs talking and he said, shh, I'm just praying, don't be quiet. So even, alhamdulillah, even the, my non-Muslim friends will be very accommodating towards me. Alhamdulillah. So one of the, and the last difficulty that I think that I faced was understanding the distinction between culture and Islam and what is actually Islam, what is Sunnah? You know, you walk into the masjid, growing up in America your whole life, and now I see people with a kurta, I see the shawar kameez and the pajamas, I see different thobes from different countries, brothers from Africa wearing different clothes, and I'm confused. I said, which one of this is Islam? Which, did the Prophet wear all these clothes? These are beautiful. Alhamdulillah. And so over time, I had to develop that sense of, you know, what is Islam? And I realized that me wearing these clothes, me, me living this life, this is sunnah. You know, the Prophet Muhammad, السلام, he used to wear loose-fitting clothing. He used to wear what, what fit in with his culture. And I found that, you know, we're, we're satisfying the conditions from both ends. And that's the beauty of Islam, is that Allah speaks in the Quran of our different nationalities and colors. And that's an ayah, that's a sign that Allah exists. Alhamdulillah. But in the short amount of time, the one thing that I really want to hit home and make a point on is that what, what led me to Islam was Allah, of course. But Allah sends these signs to people. And my sign was actually seeing a Muslim make one good decision in their life, right? They decided that what they were doing wasn't completely right, and they decided to follow what was right. And that got me interested in Islam. It wasn't the pamphlets at da'wah tables. Alhamdulillah, those are good. It was the actions of a Muslim. It was the actions of, it was the action of being Muslim that I think far too many of us seem to underestimate the power of it. Because there's no ayah of Quran that says, just wait for the miracles to come and then people will become Muslim. No, 
Allah says in the Quran, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَا إِلَى اللَّهِ Who's better in speech than the one who calls to Allah? وَعَمِنَ الصَّالِحًا And who does the pious actions? وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And says that I am among the Muslims. It doesn't say وَقَالَ لِنَفْسِهِ Says to himself that I'm Muslim. He says, no, وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ that I am definitely a Muslim. Next time that you do something to a non-Muslim, if you pull over on the highway and help someone change their tire, tell them, and they say, thank you. you know, that was very nice of you. Why'd you do that? I'm, I'm a Muslim. That's why I did this action. And then walk away. Alhamdulillah. They will listen. People, people don't know what Islam is. They haven't seen it. And they need to see it to become Muslim. That's what I needed. Because there's many people around the world, many people that I know that have similar situations to me. That they have that idea, I believe in God, I don't really follow a religion in particular. They're, they're near that path, they're walking around that path. And sometimes giving them directions isn't the only way to get to it. Sometimes you have to see someone walking along that path to find your way. And again, please don't think that, you know, the non-Muslims coming to Islam are the only ones with a path. Every single one of us has a path to Islam. Every single one of us who is Muslim sitting here has testified that they believe in one God, Allah, and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And we're all walking that path together. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu wa la ilaha illa anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Jazakallah khairan.